Alright, welcome back to Phineas and Ferb. Alright, we are being chased by a bunch of bees. They basically just keep running and jumping through these balloons. And they will try and pop balloons in your path, so be careful where you're going. Um, this is a pretty cool idea. I mean, holy cow, they're coming out of, like, everywhere. I think either way, if you're going through top or bottom, there will be bees chasing you. But for some reason, I think I've always went to the top, so... Alright, this is one of the first instances where you split up. In order to collect, like, the gadgets and stuff you need. <laughs> she doesn't now, does she? Nope. Alright, so here's the first instance of splitting up, where it goes split screen, so you can see what's happening on both ends. Um, this is probably what it's like on two player if you want someone goes off screen or something. I think. I haven't had a chance to do two player yet, but that's what I'm guessing. Let me get our first part here. And actually, we have everything to build it. But first, let's see if we can collect anything else through here. I don't think there's anything else we can collect. Nope. Alright. Perry, um... I'm not sure how to get through that door. I know there has to be a way somehow. But anyway, let's go help. Let's go ahead and build ourselves our next gadget. Your new ninja glove lets you stick to certain walls. Try it now on the wall of that tall shaft. Now jump to the next wall. Good yep. work. Now you should be able to make your way to the top. Yeah, we already did that. Anyway, basically what it is, it lets you wall jump, basically. You can climb up it, but it's quicker just to jump across, so. And also, later on, you will, the, uh, gloves will get an attack, so. Basically, every gadget you get will have some kind of attack eventually, so. But I tend to use the baseball launcher more than any other weapon in the game. Anyway, looks like we need to figure out another one of these puzzles. So let's go ahead and put this one in here, like so. And put this one, obviously, right... Oh. Yeah, I didn't see it, but it's like right there. I see it now, but it's like right there in front of me. Let's just put it right there. Again, that one wasn't that hard either. Yeah, these balloons are kind of like the balloons in Yoshi's Island where you stand on them, they will float down. So basically just keep jumping to have them go up and grab ourselves this mod. Mod. This adds extra power to the anti-gravity ray shot. Okay. Let's grab ourselves this coin too. And basically just keep jumping on this last one until you're high enough to reach the ledge up at the top. Like that. And Terry the turtle just completely fell. <laughs> Poor Terry the turtle. Whoa, they came down from balloons. I never noticed that. One in a million? I think you say that again, don't you? Ah, porcupines. Yep. One in a million? You just said that twice within the past minute. So obviously there's two in a million. Two in two million. I don't know. Alright, this ride is basically... You're stuck on this, and you gotta try to destroy all the porcupines. Something that's cool to note, if you can manage to shoot them as they're jumping in the air before they actually land on the balloons, they'll fall straight down into the pit. And they won't land, so... That's a quick way to get rid of any that are coming your way. If you can manage to do that, like that. It's a perfect example of that. Other than that, it's basically just a waiting game until you reach the other side. Aw, oh, so close. These poor porcupines, what did they ever do to us other than trying to pop our balloons? Haha. 
At least they have nice soft balloons below them to land on. And then again, if they already disappear then into electronics, then... Oops. Aw, oh, he still fell. And our baseball launcher is now at level 3! Yay! I believe level 5 is the highest you can go. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is level 5. And I believe when you level up as in 1, you can actually install more chips. So, if you want to install more chips to make it more, you know, have more damage or anything, just make sure you use it and level it up. I'm pretty sure the same goes for Ratchet and Clank. I can't really say I've only played the second one, and I haven't really played it in forever, so... I mean, I love how Terry the Turtles was standing there. He's like, not doing anything, he's not even helping me. Oh, okay, he shot a little bit. But he could help me, like, knock him off like that. And again, you want to be careful how much you're shooting the baseball launcher, because you can run out of ammo. First time I was doing this, I did run out of ammo, so... Anyway, let's grab ourselves this coin over here. Well, get rid of these guys first and then grab it. Or, get rid of them and grab it at the same time. It works. Yeah, in case you're wondering, the thing, the little baseball icon under Perry's, or whoever you are, um, life bar and everything, which is up at the top corner, the little orange bar that's below the baseball, that is your ammo capacity. What you see, it goes up over time, so... And I believe with that, we are at the end of this level, I think. And no, we're not, I'm sorry. I think it's up a little more. My bad. My bad. I believe it's over here, right? Yep. Level completed. Yay. And Perry won. Again. I think. Alright, nope, still no more mini games. And we have a cutscene. <laughs> okay then, let's be <clears throat> Burb and Perry. Awesome. Well, this is different. Yes, yes, it, it is. The energy in this dimension is downriver from you. All right, black and white, huh? Good old times indeed. All right, let's go ahead and modify this thing, like so. See if our new thing can... Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Alright, black and white. Uh, this this world's actually, this dimension's actually pretty cool. Um, as you can see here, this is probably a reference to the old Mickey cartoon. With the steamboat and everything. Actually has another... Dimension Phineas, Isabella, and all of them. Alright, so next time we will continue on through this weird little place, so until then, sayonara.